Hi, hello, how are you? I'm in the mirror. Don't look at me in the mirror, okay? This is about me in present. My name is Macy, if you don't know me, and if you do know me, hi, welcome back. So basically, in my brain, I wanna be a fashion girly, but in reality, I'm wearing a huge t-shirt and Grinch pajama pants, and that's who I am, and that's okay, but I'll be doing online school next year, and I have gone to a school with uniforms for three years, so it'll be my first time being able to dress how I want, even if it's just in the comfort of my own home. I also always see those people doing like get ready with me on tiktok and they put together like really cute outfits but they're constantly like changing and putting things on and then they make a really super cute outfit and so i need to find like super cute outfits that i haven't worn before so today we're gonna try to make at least five i'm hoping five outfits that i've never worn before that are also really cute but honestly that's generous because i get frustrated easily i have like outfits in my mind and then they never turn out well so let's just get into it <laughs> The first thing that I want to style is this little skirty skirt I just got. It has a little bow on it. It's cute. It kind of looks, I feel like it resembles a certain skirt from Brandy Melville, but I can't remember which one. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw a picture of me wearing this skirt with a top that I just like folded to make it look like a bra. That's okay. I want to style it. I feel like it could be a cute winter thing as well as like a spring summer thing. So I want to try to style it for like winter edition because I never wear skirts in the winter and the skirt is like kind of long enough where I feel like I can make it work. So let's try to find something that would um look cute with that. No. <laughs> Maybe this could play a role in it, this white thing. I'm just gonna start pulling things and seeing seeing what happens. It's like a white turtleneck. Maybe I could put like a like a crop t-shirt under that or something. I don't know. This tank top maybe. You guys, I don't know. I'm really bad at putting the outfits together. I also have a lot of dirty laundry right now, so is this the best time in my life to film this considering most of my stuff is in the dirty laundry section? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Maybe this. Okay, I'm gonna come back with outfit number one and we're gonna decide if it slays or if it doesn't slay. So BRB. I look really short. I feel like this angle makes me look so short. But here's outfit number one. I think it's cute, but I can't decide if it looks cuter with the loafers or the boots. They're both different levels of platform too. So if I stand if I stand on this leg, I'm way taller. And if I stand on this one, I have kind of a little bit of a, a sit going on. I feel like it looks cute either way, but I kind of like it with the boots more. I don't know. But it's actually, this is like an outfit that I had in my head. And I feel like it doesn't look horrible. I can't decide if I love the turtleneck aspect of it. But I feel like it's like a cute outfit and I could replicate it with like other shirts and stuff like that. I think it's kind of cute. Wait, I kind of popped off. First outfit that was in my brain and I popped it off. Popped it off. I popped off is what I meant to say. Do you like how like non-existent my butt is? Yeah, I like it too. Anyways. Next outfit. I feel like I should just pick a piece in my closet and try to like style it cute. Oh, I have an idea. I don't know why I'm like so set on winter and it being cold, but Michigan is super cold and that's where I live. So here's this. I've had this for so long. It's super cute, but I've never worn it because I don't know how to style it. So let's try. I feel like step number one should be putting it with like a pair of blue jeans. So let's try that. Boop. So I have these like light wash straight leg jeans that I feel like could look cute. Or I have this new pair of American Eagle jeans that are like their 90s flare jeans with a little rip in them. They're slightly different washes. My sister just brought me Dr. Pepper. Sierra, come in here. Say hi to help the creative process. On the this is Sierra. My eyes. Are... I'm thinking maybe this tank top from Brandy underneath the coat. <laughs> I swear that I have a red tank top though. So if I can find that, I want to see if that's like color wise is kind of similar. Found it. It's like a slightly different shade of red, but I feel like who's gonna notice? So I'm gonna do both of them, and then I feel like with a jean and maybe a loafer or like an Air Force One or something. I'll come back to you. If it looks ugly, don't judge me. Don't pay attention to that. My sister just brought in like one of those like things that hang from the top of your wall. Not top of your wall, top of your ceiling. And said we should put it in my room. But anyways, so here's the first rendition. I kept the turtleneck on, but I don't think I like it. I tucked it in to make it like a crop top. This, and then I'm wearing the 90s flare ones. And then I put on an Air Force and a loafer. I also have a Converse out because I don't think I like how this looks with the loafer because I feel like the length is just kind of weird. But I like how the Air Force looks with it, I think. Yeah, I like how the Air Force looks with it better than the loafer. So now I'm going to put on the Converse and see which one I like, I like better. They're probably going to be very similar and I probably will like both of them, but whatever. Then we're going to put on a different top. This one's going to be a lengthy process because I put on a different top and then also put on different jeans to see which looks the best. <laughs> I don't know, I think they both look really cute. I kind of like the Converse because they're a little taller. Okay, well we know that this top is a no. So top, not feeling it. I might put on different jeans later because I don't know how these 
jeans are making me feel either. Also, this top is super see-through, so I had to put like a white sports bra on underneath. We're gonna put on like the brandy tank top first, I think, and then the red tank top, and we'll come back. Okay, hey, Sierra's in here again. Say hi again, Sierra. Hey, babe. Anyways, I put on the brandy metal tank top, and I think it looks way cuter than the turn -off. But I'm also gonna put on the red one after this, and then we're gonna change jeans and do this in the red one again, if the red one looks good. If the red one looks ugly, then I will do it again. Sierra, what are you doing? <laughs> No, so I basically, see, this is what was on my floor, and mm -hmm. Sierra just hung it up with a thumbtack <laughs> and poked into the ceiling, and then two of them, to hold the two of them sorry, to, you know, keep it stable, because this is good construction work. Tank top change happening in three, two, one. Um, oh. Anyways, here's the red one. I like the red one. I think it's really cute, and I like the length better with these jeans. Sierra agrees that this one is cute. I like both of these shoes, to be honest, so let's change the jeans, though. Except now my dog is laying on the jeans and Sierra keeps coming in and it's just a lot is going on right now. Anyways, here's the other jeans. I kind of like the higher waist more, but I also think the other jeans are cute. So either one works, but I like I like this combo, like this red with the light wash. And this is cute. I think this is like our finished outfit number two. The reason I'm not re-putting this brandy tank top on is because the length of this combined with these pants, it's just like slightly too long. So I think the red looks cuter with it. Here's look number two. Oh my gosh, you guys. Go me. Work, can we have at least two looks happening? This is good for us. The next thing I want to style is this new top I got, which is also from Brandy Ella. Well, technically it's from PacSun, but it's Brandy Melville. So whatever. It's just this like long top. It's like green in the middle and then black in the sleeves. I think it could be really cute. I'm gonna take this off and this off and just put it on with these jeans, which I feel like won't look good because I really like it, but I feel like with these type of shirts, you have to find things that are like the perfect length or else your outfit just looks slightly awkward. I might honestly go on their like Instagram to get inspo, but they all have low-waisted jeans and I don't have any. I think that they look good on people, but I don't have any low-waisted jeans. I have like one pair of low-waisted corduroys, I think, but that would not look good with that. So I'll come back to you when I have like a base level outfit happening. <laughs> okay, here's this with the jeans. Again, it's like slightly too long. I feel like if I rolled it a little maybe and I made it like a crop top situation, it could look cute. The only reason that I ever like learned how to roll things into crop tops is because at dance we wear sports bras and a lot of times we wear like t-shirts over them and whenever you get too hot but you didn't want to take off your sports bra, there was like one girl who used to tuck in her shirt to her sports bra and I hope that she knows that she literally has influenced me ever since then because that was like three years ago and she did it and now I do it almost every time I dance. So this is obviously like not a super clean roll. I'm trying to see like what the vision would be. I think it looks cute, but I don't think it's like fashionista, you know? Maybe I'm gonna put on some black shoes. I definitely don't think this will be like the look because I also want to try it with like a skirt maybe, which I feel like won't look good, but we'll see. I'm gonna put on my loafers and then I'm gonna put on my docks and we're gonna see if that looks better because I want to tie in the black because I feel like with the white it doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna put black shoes on and then I'm probably gonna try it with like a skirt and tights maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Feeling crazy. Hair sauce. I think it's kind of cute to be honest. Like the skirt with the black tights. Here we go. I can't decide how I feel about the length. I feel like it doesn't look that bad. Like, I feel like it doesn't look awkward because when I like roll it, I feel like it's not, you know, it's not the vibe that I'm going for. But I think this looks cute together. Like all together, I think it's cutesy. I feel like it needs something though. Like I need to add something to it to make it more, como se dice, interesante? I'm trying to think, like what could I add to this to make it more interesting than it is? It's literally like, it truly is just like a skirt. <laughs> all right, what have these? I feel like this is kind of a basic outfit, but I think it's cute. So I guess this is outfit number three. I feel like I could add something to it to make it more interesting, but like I can't think of anything right now that would make this more interesting. Cause I have like leg warmers, but they're like off white. And so they wouldn't look good with this. I don't know, I feel like kind of, it's even a little basic, but it's cute and I've never worn it before, so I have number three. I think this might be my last look. I know I said one, two, five, but I feel like four, four is enough for me today. I would do five, but I'm kind of running out of clothes because again, a lot of my clothes are dirty. I want to wear these khakis. These were khakis that I used to wear to school and I used to get tons of compliments on them, but I want to find a way to wear them. They're the only pair that I kept, first of all. I got rid of every other pair of khakis that I own and I only kept this pair. So I want to find a way to wear them that kind of gives like, I don't know, like streetwear vibes almost. I don't really know. Just more casual because I've never really like worn them casually. So I want to find a cute outfit that involves these khakis. I want a sweatshirt, but when it comes to like big pants and sweatshirts, you have to have like the perfect length. There's this sweatshirt, but I don't know if I love the, there's this sweatshirt, but I don't know if I love the colors together. I don't know. We'll keep it out. Oof. I'm gonna take out these tank tops just because they're cute and I feel like I haven't worn them in a while. 
And I want to wear them again because I know that they're technically like not trendy, but I still like them and I think they're flattering on me. So we're just going to put them on with those and see if anything comes of that. This is super wrinkly because I just pulled it from like my laundry. Oh well. Wow. But we're going to try this on with the khakis. I'm not sure if I'll love the colors together, but I think that's what we'll do. And then I don't know what shoes I'll wear with it yet. We'll see. We'll see what I am feeling, what I'm vibing with. I put on the sweatshirt and then I put on my green platform Converse because I think that they're cute and colorful. And I do like the color. I thought I would like the color of this because I thought I'd kind of like wash it out. But I do like the color of this, so it's like a casual way to wear it. I also want to put on this sweatshirt. I've decided against the tank tops, but I feel like this is so similar in color that I need to like actually put it on with the shoes and see if it makes sense. But I do like this like as an outfit. I think it's cute. So, do you guys like my posing? I'm just going like... So the thing about this is I love the length of this one. I think it's like perfect for these pants. The colors are so similar. When I'm far away, they're so similar. When I get close up, they are less similar. <laughs> Here's the pants. It's the shirt. It's obviously like a different color, but I feel like they look too similar to be worn together, which sucks, but it's whatever. Who knows? I'll probably end up wearing it at some point in my life. And that's all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible evening, afternoon, morning, whatever it is for you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.